<laughs> this fucking gets so. Oh, hilarious thumbnail <laughs> that I haven't made yet, but I already know what it'll be, and you've already seen it. Opening him is Sting. <laughs> the free song, free free, set them free. If you love someone, set them free. Whatever the lyrics for the title are. That's right. And then, of course, because it's September, as we're approaching the day of the Lord, and the lyrics uh, talk about the night of the 21st of September which is uh, Joseph Smith's Mormonism theme song, Earth, Wind, and Fire, September. Doing it this whole month. And, uh, well, at least until the day of the Lord. <laughs> so... Agency. Uh, Elder Bednar was wrong. Agency is free. He seems to want to tell us agency is not free. It is. We all have it. We all can exercise it and use it and enjoy it. It's free. Now there are certain conditions of mortality where people are born into countries that are not so free and so you're as a baby limited in your freedom as babies in and of themselves are limited on their freedom they don't have full mobility yet they're stuck dependent on their parents or guardian depending on agency <coughs> Agency is what is referred to as love. There's only one commandment. It's for the Jews, it's for Christians, everybody. One commandment. Love. The violation of love takes away your agency. And so that's where the conditions are. Free to have love of love agency, but it's conditional. <clears throat> and so there are three areas of agency: life, liberty, property. Those constitute agency. The other commandments, you know. There are 42 positive affirmations in the Egyptian religion. That's a lot. Oh, man, 42? We have to memorize those going through our initiatories in the Egyptian temple? Oh, I don't know. There's only 10 commandments in the Bible. Oh, what? 613? <laughs> Screw that. I'm going back to the Egyptians. The Pharisees made it worse in the New Testament as they added the first strength of the youth pamphlet and other oral traditions for the Jews <laughs> that Jesus was constantly violating. And it's a good thing kids are not allowed to watch my channel. <laughs> but again, the Pharisees couldn't grasp it. They in making the hedge laws took Jews away from the one and only law of love. They placed the Jews in bondage with the hedge laws designed to protect the Jews. And so they punished people for violating the hedge laws as severely as they would for violating the law of love. And so the whole stories of Jesus, 
regardless of which gospel you utilize, is trying to teach this. And yes, he was not real. And we've done over that over and over again. So if you're new, you're way behind. And so a government is supposed to be designed to protect the agency of its citizens. When they violate it, like King Noah in the Book of Mormon, the people follow his example, become criminals themselves, and their agency is gone. It doesn't matter if there are no Lamanites who come to destroy you. Your agency is already gone by that point. Because you've created a survival of the fittest environment where every man for themselves. You know, you got to steal, cheat, and lie to get ahead so that you can prosper. And those who aren't strong enough, those who are weak, they're the poor. So then you get to the Zoramides, well, the poor are unworthy. And so that inequality is caused by corruption in government. So yes, the reason why we have poverty is not because they're lazy and they don't just get a job. Or, once they get a job and it's still not enough, you then demand that they get a better job. So that you can justify not giving them charity. It's the government's fault. There's a justice system. There are three branches of government. The legislature is supposed to make laws to protect life, liberty, and property, and punish the punishments, set forth the punishments for violation of it, so that the executive, when somebody calls up and says, hey, my agency has been violated, they'll come out investigate and send the accused to the courts where the courts if just would then render a verdict and if the person was lying about the accused well they're trying to take away the agency of the accused aren't they with a false accusation so punishments are necessary to maintain agency. You do not have the agency to commit crime and take away the agency of others because that leads to King Noah and Zoramite chaos. There must be order. That's how you show love. If you're taking away the agency of another, you're not loving them. If you're threatening them, like the YouTube employee thought he was funny this morning. I was uploading the video on TWG, it finished, and it was gone. Wow. Funny. He took away my agency. He demonstrated as a Mormon, married, gone on a mission, that he has no love as a Mormon. And he doesn't care, because he knows I was Mormon and have left. So he thinks he can justify punishing me, because I took away Mormon's agency by leaving. Mormons have it all wrong. Is it bass backwards? Did I pronounce that correctly, or do I need to be bleeped? <laughs> and so when we look to society, we have government, 
We have business, we have religion, and we have the community themselves, community organizations and such. <coughs> All of those, in order to create a utopian Zion Nirvana, uh, whatever utopian city, a place of peace, safety, and refuge, you want to call it, they all have to work together to establish agency for everybody. And so the school systems and all these different groups need to teach the people. Because children, they're clueless, they don't know, they're brand new in this world. Parents or guardians, the school system, religion, government, all play a role in teaching mankind about agency. It's not complicated. I only laid it out for you. <coughs> and the failure to do so leads to the destruction of the nation the community. Because of the consequences. And so if you think that you have your agency to become a drunk, whatever your alcoholic choice of beverage is, that you can drink freely, you do have that agency but you don't have the agency to pick your consequences. Because once you become inebriated, you've taken away your agency. You no longer are able to direct yourself freely. And depending on the kind of drunk you are, you will likely take away others' agency in the process. And maybe you can handle your alcohol. Maybe you're the cool guy. And you're still going to barf up along. You're still going to have the hangover. Oh, but you can do this, this tomato juice thing. See, mankind has been trying to cheat the consequences of agency so that they can justify it. And if it's possible, great. If it doesn't violate anybody's agency. So, contraception. Great. If it prevents people from getting STDs, prevents pregnancy, unwanted pregnancies, that is, great. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes, conservatives, there's nothing wrong with that. Conservatives don't like people having free sex. They want to have free sex with their wife, with the cool guy. What? Yeah messed up. What you falsely accuse in another reveals the same and worse fault in yourself. So religious leaders, oh my goodness. <coughs> and so yes, sex education is essential. So that agency is properly taught. Rather than abstinence only. You will deny your biological impulse. We're designed to perpetuate the species. So for religion, or government, or schools, or business, to take away our agency with misinformation and disinformation, you know, lies, results in destruction of society. women's right to an abortion is gone now. 
we knew it was coming. Democrats knew what they needed to do, and they failed. Our voting rights are gone. Women's rights are now gone. What's next, Democrats? What else are you going to sacrifice us for? Oh, right, the complete and utter destruction of America. The MAGAs set this whole thing up, and Democrats are helpless, apparently. They're both wrong anyway. Neither of them are promoting agency. <clears throat> and so liberty, yeah, when it's other people like Elizabeth Smart getting kidnapped by Brian David Mitchell and Wanda Barzi, oh yeah, that's wrong, that's evil. But, it's okay to falsely accuse somebody and lock them up for a crime they did not commit and be in prison for the rest of their life? That's okay? Yeah, no. property. Did that YouTube employee have the right to hide my video on my management page? No. It violates their own laws, which are not perfect anyway. They don't allow for love. With the thumbs up and thumbs down, they automatically tell us they don't love us and you put yourself at risk of being bullied and abused on their site. Yay! It's a survival of the fittest. And Mormon apologists are out in full force to show the church is true by death threats and abuse and ad hominem. Nothing says the church is true by their taking away your agency. Join our church or die! We love you. And so, yes, the thumbnail is accurate. Because when you take away somebody's liberty, you expose them to the threat of destruction. Or, oh, where's the birdie? I taught a putty Mormon. All that's left are the feathers. What happened? Did it escape? From its cage? Or was it mauled by a putty tat? Putty Mormon. And so, coronavirus. When we were first told to stay home, stay safe, everybody rushed the stores, depleted the supplies. Those who were not strong enough to get to the grocery stores first and have enough money to buy extra surplus before they would come down and say, oh, nope, there's limits. Only one toilet paper roll per customer. Only one pea from the bag of peas per customer. Yeah. People got left out. No toilet paper. And that's partly, as the church would want to claim, our fault for not having a year's supply of storage. And it turns out we needed two, three, four, five, ten, 20, 100, 200 years supply of food and hygiene and sanitation. Because as the church has falsely accused us, you know, Bednar said that the virus has taken away our agency to attend church. We need to defy it and go to church. We need the right to go to the temple. This virus will not take away our agency. 
So, any surprise that Mormons are anti-maskers and anti-vaxxers? In the other video this morning, I had poor grandma in there. Mormons literally are killing their loved ones because they want their agency. So they're taking away the agency of others. And the church is incorrectly teaching Mormons. They're not following the Word of God. The Word of God says to stay home, stay safe in these situations. Specifically this situation for a virus outbreak. It's in Scripture as an example for us. You know, we don't have a worldwide flood, but we have the virus. We knew exactly what to do. The church is in the position to do something to help the suffering. I did the video for Nelson's birthday from him himself saying that the church can help ease the suffering. And he said this in his solemn assembly talk way before the suffering began. And the church has betrayed us. They've abandoned us. They tell us that we can cure coronavirus with magic. All different kinds of magic. Attending church, fasting, prayer, Jesus, gratitude, anything but stay home and stay safe. And so the Salt Lake Tribune's thinking the church is a good guy for not telling Mormons that they can get an exemption from mask mandates for religious purposes. The church is profiting either way. If you get infected, the church makes money. If you get vaccinated, the church makes money. It's a win-win for them. It's a lose-lose for us. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, who preaches agency, has taken ours away because they won't shut down the church and save lives. And so our government, yeah, they've got something planned. Because what happens when people demand agency on a whole? individual agency that you purposely take away? Well, yeah, there are consequences and you lose your agency. But when it's a whole community, you know, like the Noahites or the Zoramites or the Nephites, you get bondage, if not complete and utter destruction. For example, we're in a drought. Who caused the drought? Oh, it's just Mother Nature. There's nothing we could have done about it. Yes, there is something we could have done about it. We purposely increased the temperature of the earth. Our governments purposely did this. When the combustion engine was invented. They had already done the environmental impact studies. They knew the consequences. They knew how much of the combustion engine is required in the atmosphere to increase the temperature of the earth and how long it would take depending on how many vehicles are sold. They already knew all this. There were even alternative vehicles that were environmentally friendly. Well, the gas and oil companies made sure they didn't get promoted. So they were out of business very quickly. Gotta eliminate the competition. 
That gives agency. And so, yeah, here we are. We knew it was coming. They purposely set it up for this. Utah is a desert. If you purposely increase the temperature of the earth, it's going to create desert conditions in the extreme for Utah. So much for blossoming as a rose, huh? And so, yes, towns are now out of water. Water has to be shipped in because their agency has been taken from them. And now they're being punished financially and with their life. They are in bondage, dependent upon having water shipped in. So their options, do we stay and continue to ship in water? Or do we move to a place that has water? People in California already moving east because of the fires and the drought and the economic impact. Milk is $2.60 for the discounted milk here in Utah at my Smith's. I haven't seen those prices since New York. Back in the turn of the decade, 1990. And so what's going to happen if we continue to waste water or use water? We're eventually going to run out. Then guess what? Governor Cox, oh, we've got no water to give you. Or he may do the other alternative. Take away our agency. We are now doing water rationing. We are purposely going to only have the water treatment centers send water during certain hours of the day. Wow. And we're going to enforce it with the law. Can you live in those kinds of situations? Uh-oh, you slept in. You missed your shower time. Uh-oh. You got a lot of dishes. You didn't quite make it in time. Unless you fill the sink up with water and then do them that way. If you do the dishwasher. Oh! Cut it off half cycle. Oh! Washing clothes. Uh oh. Yeah, we're screwed in this apartment. We have assigned times during the week to do our laundry. So if our laundry time does not fit the water schedule. It's coming, guys. What do you think will be the consequences of violating agency? See, the leaders purposely cause the problem taking away agency so that they can justify taking away agency. They're purposely giving us our freedom. Oh yeah, you don't have to wear masks. It's up to you. Oh, you want to go to church? That's up to you. Not wear a mask. Okay. Your agency. But there are consequences. Our ICUs are full children are getting hit hard this time around. Oh, but kids are immune. Yeah, we were lied to. We were told what to do in the beginning and nobody did it. We're being exterminated. We're having our agency taken away from us by people who are in charge to protect our agency. 
I mean, seriously, you believe that he's making America great by telling you to inject yourself with disinfectants? Oh, yeah, you didn't listen to him for that, did you? But Fox, when they tell you to take animal drugs for deworming, oh, you can't get enough of it. Wow. Good job, guys. You've been played as suckers and losers. And they're laughing at you as you die and suffer in the hospitals. Good job. Your agency has been taken because you listened to Fox. And where you didn't have your agency taken because you didn't listen to Trump. And you still don't get it. You think this is all just a joke. You think that chaos will establish order of necessity which is not order, it's taking away agency. Authoritarianism is, by definition, a governmental system that takes away agency. You have to do what they tell you to do, when they tell you to do it, and to the extent they want you to do it. Otherwise, you're a criminal, as a prisoner. church, they could have fixed this problem. Nelson told us himself, we can fix it. We can prevent the suffering. We can alleviate it. We can heal. But instead, he chose as a medical doctor to be a magic man. There's a song for that too, isn't there? Mama, he's a magic man. that in mind for another video about Nelson taking away your agency with magic powers. But yeah, it's coming. Either complete and utter destruction, where you're dead, your loved ones are gone, or they slap down the law and say, nope, we're taking away your agency, you guys are unworthy and unfit to have your own agency, because you violated it. They're going to victim blame you. So, it's coming. One or the other. One thing leads to another. Tell me something more. I 